<laughs> I'm clicking around. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steph Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Dread X2. So he's going to be exciting. Now we're done with these ones. All the way up to that thing in the lake. All right, so we've only got one, two, three, four. So let's take Another Late Night by Secret Cow Level. You're up late playing video games and messing around on the internet, and then things take a dark turn. Yes, I think they Mmm, milk dudge. I got me some milk dudge. Nom nom nom. I don't know where we're going with this one, but it's gonna be cool. Oh, another little window. Oh, darn it. Hmm. Hello, player. Subject number 268. Another late night is a narrative test project. By Secret Cowlow. Dread X Collection Volume 2. Programming Justin Reynard, Marie McConnell, uh, John Brios, Ash K. Special thanks to Ted, a sexy PNG. I can't read that. Sorry, my eyes are bad. Star, Stephen Barry, Matt Livingston, Hunter. Unless you're Stephen Barry, like me, please close this window to continue. Okay, bye. Oh, it's a kid. It's a cute kid. Hmm. No message received. What? Haha. Uh -huh. Are you there? I'm worried about you. Signed off at 2.54. Users off. Oh, why'd you? If you're worried about me, what? Never mind that. Kid. Sexy PNG? I hope it's a cat. Nope. That's not a cat. That's a jiggly buff. Four people reported missing. A video game developers suspected to be involved. Developer Justin Rayner and three people who played his most recent game have disappeared. <gasps> Gasp. Peace. Reynard disappeared on the 12th, leaving his wallet and keys in his apartment. Police believe that his experiences are linked. He was up he was an up-and-coming independent developer who has published multiple titles including Don't Go Out and the CCG Doom Trooper. He specializes in 2D games with dark subject matter. The game has been removed from stores but has been pirated and can be downloaded online. Multiple sites describe the game as manipulative and at least one person has reported that it might be recruiting people through how, though, although how and for what reasons is not clear, the publisher DreadX issued a statement saying that the that they were deeply saddened by Raynor's disappearance. Play Doom Trooper. Hey. You know this game is really screwed up. I don't remember how we got here either. Don't worry, I won't leave you. Everyone dies alone, press enter to continue. Well that was weird. Take me to the next page. The game is psychological thriller exploring dark themes. Rumors are that it's also a recruiting tool for cult like group that uses sites that experts call chan or chan or clan. Chan boards. These sites, like the now defunct 4chan and 8chan, are the new are the frontier of social media places where there are no laws and posters can find others who share views which are not mainstream. These sites are also can also be home to white supremacists and other hate groups. Yeah. And to groups who, which would not be tolerated on Facebook or Instagram, users claim that there are also places where anonymity allows real freedom and expression of expression, and that people can share s suppressed information. Interesting. My internet connection is out. Oh darn it! Is this I minimize mute music sound effects? Ah. Are we back? Okay. No, see, my internet's still out. Go away. Uh-oh. I can't minimize it. So this is the actual... Game over roof start. This allows the game to be window captured by OBS. Oh! That's alright. Fine. It's fine like this. Don't mind it. Cool. All right, go away. Uh, prawn? 
I hope it's a shrimp. Please be a shrimp. Nope, it's Ted. Oh, so much Ted. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. He's got a handsome face. He's definitely got a face for that. Uh, go away, Ted. Uh, go away, Ted. And you, and you. Goodbye. Uh, I can't go back. Eh, go away. The idioms. Unknown zero to end four. Ooh, look at the pretty clouds. Mm. Oh, repairing the internet. Please wait. I'm looking at this pretty cloud. Clouds. God, I love that sound. Don't love that sound. Please close this window. Goodbye. Right. Click close this window. We got your internet straightened up. What a relief. Hey, are you okay? I mean, it's okay if you're not. It's as if the world is screwed up. Do you want to talk about it? I'm here to listen. It's like my job, right? And I really care. Let's talk about what's bothering you. Oh my god. Which is worse for you? Oh my god. This is a terrible choice. I mean, how do you choose? Um, I guess the pandemic is the most affecting me at the moment. It's not that big a deal, right? It's like the flu. Young people don't get that sick. <sighs> but it's weird. All the people in masks and stuff, not knowing what's going on or how long until we can see people again. They're going to be okay. You know, I just realized something. Ha <laughs> ha Put that right there. Uh, well, you don't know what's going to happen. So you're going to be okay. Sucks to some people, and really, you know, that's a big deal. Not a lot you can do about it. You've obviously never lived with paranoia. Uh, well, this, this ain't gonna really help too much, and there's nothing to do with the current issue, and that's not really the biggest concern I've got at the moment. School debt. What if you end up without a job? I mean, what if the whole economy blows up? Rich people will be fine. Of course they will. They have enough money. We don't. Us poor people don't. Good news. Few people died of heart attacks during the Great Depression because heart attacks are a lifestyle cheese. <sighs> what the heck is this? <laughs> I want to go back to climate change. Can we go back to climate change? You may be living in a dumpster, but your cholesterol will be great. Shut up. You can do it. Live homeless. Scrounge food. Do whatever you need to do, right? I mean, I've done it before. I'd watch you back. If you're going to die anyway... Do you want to die early while things are... Don't... What? If you're going to die anyway, do you want to die early while things are still pretty good? Or suffer through it all and die anyway? I'm sorry, I missed what that said. I don't like that guy. And I missed my video with the clouds. It was pretty clouds. What? Okay, fine. Torpel... Triple Duke. No, it's Torpel Duke. His game was cool. Super retro. Yo, ASL. <laughs> that takes me back. Age, sex, location. I didn't play it. Bummer. That article working for any of you back up yet? Nope, not yet. Nope. Everyone, anyone got good turnip prizes? Ha! Ah, sorry, what the heck is that? Tron Prison. Dang it, already. Already gone. I don't want to. Invader signed off. 16. Uh, yeah, I don't post stuff like that here. I removed your link. Sorry, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to see what happened. Click his back up for missing an online video game. Is this me? Is that is that is that my picture? I like that picture. Look, it makes me look better. Here, I'm trying to just read to the end. Really hugs. Hmm. Oh, Tron he got sent to jail for posting a link. Okay, cool. Alright, cool, 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 cool. You have permission to chat. I would like to chat. Can I chat? Rat? Oh, that's a cute one. <laughs> I like the rat pictures. Oh, it's so sweet. <gasps> a rat in the pocket. He's riding. So cute. So cute. Rat the pizza rat. Oh, that's a big old heckin' chonker. That's my favorite file folder. We need more like that. Rat party. I love the rat party. Reese's peanut butter cups are delicious. Hashtag not sponsored by Reese's. 
All right. Can we go to page two, four, three? Mm -hmm. These sites are often places where fringe and extreme groups recruit new members. <laughs> Even the president during a recent press conference was quoted as saying, we must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the Grossum and Grizzly video games. I don't have a Trump impression, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, they are now commonplace. It is too easy today for troubled youth to surround themselves with a culture that celebrates violence. We must stop or substantially reduce this, and it has to begin immediately. Of course, one could argue I also don't have a JFK impression, but there you go. <sighs> want to hear a story? No, I want to finish reading the frickin'... How did it go, you ask? I know you ask because I'm you. I'm the part of yourself that sometimes you don't listen to. It's okay. Not as good as some of the other games I've played. So get this, I'm playing and I get this text on my phone. It's from my friend and he's also playing the game. You don't want to hear this. You sure? No, I don't want to hear this. I want to finish reading that thing. My friend asked me how far I got in the game. He says he's not getting anywhere. Then he says, oh wait, just keep going. Trust me. I trust you. At first it feels like I keep getting stuck. I almost quit. Then I get away. Then I get it. Get what? I don't care. What the boop is this game? What is this article? Get what? Just keep playing. You'll get there. You're not a quitter, are you? Are you? How many things did you say that you were going to do and start and you started, but you never finished? Exercise? Are you saving enough money? Did you complete your work? Well, I mean, technically, I am completing my work right now. Is your room a mess? Always has been. What does it say about you? I don't clean my room. How often do you know you should do something, but you watch TV or play a game like this? I mean, playing a game is work for me, so yes. But right now, your job is to finish this game, right? Because you believe in follow through. You just don't quit. I'm not a quitter. My friend and I text a couple of times. He says, keep going. I text him. That something really weird just happened. He doesn't answer. It's late. I call him. A woman picks up. I don't know her. Friend of your friend? Wrong number. You say friend of your friend. No. I mean, she doesn't know my friend. She's the game's develop the game developer's wife, and she's upset because it's the middle of the night. She asked how I got this. I missed what that said again. She asked how I got this number. She asked my friend of Justin's. She starts to cry. She hangs up on me. Do you get it yet? Oh, kitty, so big. Uh, what the heck is going on? Why are you talking to me? Have you ever tried hypnosis? Uh, yeah, sure, go on. Have you ever tried hypnosis? I already said yes. Being hypnotized is one of the best experiences ever. It didn't work for me. <laughs> I had some friends trying to hypnotize me. It just didn't work. I was in a trance. I could feel and see and hear, but I just didn't care. It was better than anything. This is weird. Have you ever heard voices? No, wait, hear me out. I mean, you don't have to. I don't have to. I can just automatically say yes. Uh, no, wait, hear me out. Have you ever been half asleep or something and you thought you heard someone's voice? Maybe someone like your grandmother? Well, kinda. I mean, uh, for sure, yes, with me. Because I'm insane! <laughs> or have you been somewhere and thought you heard someone call your name? Our brains are strange. That's how it starts. I mean, that's literally a thing that happens to me a lot. It's, it's a whisper. Hey, it's in my head. Wait, but you're not real. I'll never lie to you. It's not a, It's not good to be isolated. I'm just keeping you company. You shouldn't play this game at night. Well, sun's shining. Oops. Does this game hypnotize people? That's what I was going to ask. People can only be hypnotized if they want to be. I don't want to be hypnotized. Some people are more susceptible to hypnosis. If the bottom of the iris of your eye doesn't go all the way to the bottom to your bottom eyelid, if you got a little white crescent of the white under it, People who do are more susceptible to hypnosis. Well, now I gotta check. Because I don't know what my face looks like. Ah! So, no, I'm good. Guess I would explain why I don't get hypnotized. Huh? I'm just not as susceptible. What the F? They are more likely to have ecstatic religious experience experiences. Have you ever heard of something like that? No. 
You know, repression makes repression works right up until it doesn't. Then you might do something you don't intend to. You might break. You might. Oh my God! So much sexy Ted. Jesus Christ. Uh, this one. What? Oh, I gotta. Oh no. Oh, what happened? Sexy Ted. Okay, it's almost over. Final three questions and then it's done. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Have you ever wet the bed? I mean, that's a stupid question. Everybody has. As bevis, have you ever hurt or felt the desire to hurt another living being, creature, especially bugs or animals? Well, that's a stupid question, too, because at least somebody has squashed a bug. I don't know a single person who's never squashed a bug. And, of course, you know, slapping and hitting another human. It happens. Final question. Do you have, do you, or have you ever had a strong interest in lighting things on fire? Maybe fireworks, paper, excessive candles, or an old house? Thank you. You're welcome. And program. Your responses have been recorded. If necessary, based on your psychological profile, foundry agents have been dispatched to your residence. Otherwise, you will be activated when you require your skill set. Thank you for your participation. They know so much about me. Anyway. Uh... Uh, game developer Justin Reynard has been found. Police say that they are still investigating, but that Reynard was apparently abducted by people who believe that the game, another late night, allowed them to connect with others who w who could, in words of their manifesto, see the world as it really was. Police refuse to speculate on why Reynard was abducted, but an anonymous source said that the group suspected him of withholding information. Reynard was hospitalized overnight for dehydration. He has since been released. One alleged abductor is in custody. Several others are still stopped. Oh, um, clicking that link actually brings you to Doom Trooper on Steam. I might have to check that out at some point. How much does it cost? <gasps> it doesn't. Oh, it's a collectible card game. That's interesting. <laughs> cool. Phyllis and Novikova. You're pretty dapper. Thank you for playing. Feel free to click around. Ah, 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 I'm clicking around. <laughs> Don't listen. Look at those fingers. Look at those sexy broken fingers. Yay. Yeah. All right. So next is diving bell. Ah, bathysphere labs. I like that. Bathysphere. <laughs> I've got Skittles. Diving bell. Cool. I don't know what we're doing with this, but hey, I'm happy to find out. <laughs> I like the name of that. Phantom Sloth Games. Oh, bunny. I was going to say, oh dear, but it's a bunny. Rabbit Run Games. Run Rabbit? Run Games Rabbit. Oh my. Uh, settings. Auto graphics, full screen, T binding. Okay. Uh, I can't move. I got five pills. Um. Okay. Begin. Oh. Uh, begin report. Land research base uh, emergency report. December 22nd, 1993. I don't like that music. Can we turn off the music, people? It's kind of funny. Automatically takes my face back. I'm not even... Report. Auto... Author, Thos Gregory, base status critical, personnel involved, Thos Gregory, 
Riskow, Riskowitz, Salvador, Caraway, Alex. Oh, Saul. Ah, Saul. Uh, Hughes, Lee Sander, Houston, Don, Crew Dead 4. Oh, no. So, if I'm the one writing this, Roskowitz, Caraway, Hughes, and Houston are dead. Incident to report. At 3 p.m. today, during a... Stop, what? What did it say? Moving? What the hell? 3 p.m. today, during a scheduled transfer from the land research base... that <laughs> to diving bell w95 an explosive decompression incident occurred crew members riskow riskowitz caraway hughes and houston had earlier been ordered to staff the diving bell or purposes of a research expedition into the Redwater Crevasse, during which they would collect samples and photograph of the flora, fauna, and minerals found in those depths. All four base members were in the umbilical connection in mechanical failure. Shut up! I'm writing an incident report. I think it's still wiggly woggly. Anyway. Uh, Hope Emerson commit lab base to the diving bell when one of the automatic pressure regulation mechanisms failed. This mechanism, which normally equalizes the pressure in the umbilical with the water pressure outside had to be manually overridden by crew member Voss, that's me, base contact for research crew when prompted to complete his manual override, Voss the heck something heckin' big This isn't my fault, god dang it. This isn't my fault. This isn't my fault. It's not my fault. I just couldn't, I just could I didn't mean it, I. Oh. So I can hide. Base status critical reporting. Report would like to apologize for breach of professionalism in yesterday. Report as team leader, any failure is my, on my shoulders. If rescued, I will cooperate with company prosecution uh, the full extent. I am be beginning to worry, however, that there will be no chance to prosecute me. Rescue possibilities are slim and growing slimmer. The incident yesterday seems to have affected the ocean floor. I think that some kind of tectonic shift has occurred, destabilizing the base. The facility is, in, is holding together, but electrical and mechanical dif difficulties Log update. Base is only barely holding together. I've got to go heating. Oh boy. Oh no, I gotta walk around.
<laughs> so don't freak out. Okay, cool. Or what I'm doing. Alert said heating malfunction, so I guess I'm headed to the heating chamber unless I want to freeze. Where the heck is the heating chamber? Oh, boiler room, electrical atrium, stairwell. Can I take this? Here we are. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm in an electric Which leads into the boiler. Boiler's been on the fritz again. So much for wanting to help them. Can't technical stuff. How many beers you owe me now? 20, 30? Well, it ain't, uh, if it ain't here, the fixin's on you. I don't give a GD if it ain't your dang job. Spare parts are over in comms. Figure it out. Left some AAs over there too. If all the loud noises haven't scared you too bad. Now that's not good. I gotta go over at comms then. Okie dokie. Observation. Cool. Testy. Hey, that's where I was typing. That's cool. I don't know why it's singing at me, though. observation. Or I'm sorry, calms. That's a stairwell, so this is calms. Yep, calms. But it does not like, my, my, my OBS does not like this. There's risk of this box, but I'm not seeing any spare fuse. Must be around here somewhere. A note. Read the note. Biscuits, look, I know it's getting really boring down here, I really do, but uh, experimenting with our anti-anxiety meds is a bad idea, even for you. It might, it might mellow you out for a while, but if we ain't got them when we need them, if, say, Houston has another breakdown, there could be trouble. I won't tell Thos, but get it together, man. Do some laps around the base or something. Agreed. down there funny how a little piece of uh, metal is all that's standing between me and frozen death right now huh. go ahead and take one of them pills who needs to be anxious right I have no idea what that was I was looking at look a lot like uh, eyeballs in the dark okay Hey -o. Head back to the terminal. Okay, cool. Uh, this is graphically intensive on my computer and I don't like it. It makes me nervous, especially considering all the issues we just had. That's cool. Alright, I'm back. Oh yeah, there's no. Don't look outside for too long. Sometimes you think you see things. Active imagination is not good in these depths. Thanks, me. I like more AA medicine. Ooh, we can get some music going on here. Alright, anyway. Back to typing. Uh, log update. Uh, log interrupted by system failure. Parts of base are currently inaccessible and systems are not behaving as they should. Distress call 
from the comms room beacon has not been acknowledged current worst case plan of action will be to repair one of the high pressure diving suits using it to make the journey to diving bell w95 personal note i think the situation may be affecting my oh, for christ's sake i think i know what that means if the emergency beacon is not functioning i've got less than no chance of getting out oh, for christ's sake all right to the emergency beacon then all right <sighs> oh, look another note Yeah. Took the station Bible. I tell you, I tell you to ask me if you need it, but a lot of you are heathens. Thanks, Hughes. Your gem. Bert your eyes and move safely if something. What? I was in electrical doing wires, I think. Yeah. I was in electrical doing wires. Oh, get off. <laughs> Actually, in this case, I'm in communications doing wires. Boom. When I was alive, I always feared the cold embrace of death. Leaving this world like a man sinking into the depths of the ocean. Oh, he Becoming is. one with the sea bed, turning to silt. My embrace of religion was that of a child, huddled beside a nightlight. But when you killed me, you showed me a purpose. A state of being I never truly believed could exist. I didn't tell you he was you yourself. To join us? How great it would be to thank you in person. Or Don't. even if that term, in person, might not apply to me any longer. Shut up. Not listening. Get out of my head. Alright, listen to this guy. He sucks. He uses a bit of a jerk. More notes in here. All right, all right, all right. What was I saying here? Hmm. All right. I think the situation uh, may be affecting my psyche. Just saw something I could not possibly have seen at depths like these. Though this situation is my is not my fault. Is not is not. I ask that command, please. Consider the stress of the circumstances on once the investigative probe is launched. I was looking forward to spending Christmas with my wife and child. Why would I have not failed, not failed when I did not, didn't, if I was scheduled to return to the mainland of today? Please excuse the rambling command, not feeling well, going to bed. Neat. Okay. Well, I we got five pills now. Uh, December 24th, 1993. Report author Doss Graham. Don't let them see your shame. Hi. Don't look at me. Base status critical report base still holds for now. No response to distress call yet. Beginning to consider my escape options more thoroughly. A personal note, please forgive intrusion command. I think I slept last night. If it was night and if I did sleep, if I did, the incident that wasn't my fault was all I could think of. The other ship. Close around me, speaking of things they couldn't have known when they were alive. Power fluctuations, I don't like this. Well, looks like we gotta head off to the power generators. Give me that. Thank you. No note down there. Hey, oh, no. 
Houston, I don't like writing this, but I'm going to need your explanation for your conduct over the past few days. Wiskowitz and Caraway said that you've been twitchy and hostile. They've been key of Adler. Oh, boy. of these darn pills. Where'd they all go? Pressure chamber. Uh, I find the stairs up here. And the stairs here. Medical bay. Oh, there's a lift. Is this the lift? Yes. Uh, seems to still have power. Missing parts. Not sure which the other poor bad words to it broke it. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, Bills. Thanks. Mess hall. I like the mess hall. They've got food in the mess hall. That's a big window. It's easy, just gotta keep yourself calm and collected and Huh, that's not natural. A lot of knives. Same dream that you were talking about, or something similar. Went to bed sober stone, too. There were an extra bit, ah, oh. extra bit, a bit, uh, a weird extra bit. When I woke up, I had something in my hand, a page. It looked like it had been torn out of a Bible. I don't feel right down here anymore, insofar as it ever did. Take that. All right. I got one part. To, oh. What's with all the uh, Lovecraftian symbolism here? I'll skip the part where I tell you that I'm beyond sick and tired of telling you people to remember the darn electrical override code for electrical is 1890. 1890. You get it this time? 1890. 1890. One more than 89, one less than 91. Now that you remember that, I have to say this. I have this to say. If one more of you people wake me up at 2 in the morning to ask me what the code is, I'm going to murder you with an axe. Don't test me, says Hughes. Well, it looks like he uh, got a hold of that axe at least, right? Aha! Hey, hey, pills. I stood up into the freaking thing. Still missing. Why won't this thing work? What is that? Soap. Tastes like eucalyptus. Why did you eat it? Gross, dude. That's all medical. Stairs are locked. Pressure chamber. Holy mackerel, there's a lot of red lights going on here. Oh, diving suit repair station. This thing will be my ticket out of here once I get a chance. That'll be how I leave right there. Cool. Well, I got another part. Slap this bad boy in there. Boom. Something's still missing. Why won't this thing work? What is missing? All right. Um, let's see. Maybe we can get in a sample collection. Maybe there's something in there. 
Oh, I can get in here. Not looking, dude. Notice all these Lovecraftian symbols just appearing on the walls, but I ain't paying no attention to them. Because I am perfectly sane. Perfectly capable. Nothing is wrong. It lives! Upstairs we go. Ah. Technically, I shouldn't be looking at this door, because you know how it happens when, when you do that. Alright, um. So we're at the lift, straight across. Cool. How bold of you to presume safety in that tomb of glass and steel of yours. Who said I presume safety? Under these pressures, with its weather, <coughs> supports buckle, and glass cracks. How long do you think you have left? Five hours. I, like you, had a family. Dead before me. I'm sorry, dude. I have been promised I can see them again. Then and I, I believe those promises more than the empty words of the free world. They're lying to you, bro. You should think about them. <gasps> the axe. You've noticed the presence. I can see it on you. Don't Haven't you it. always wanted to be part of something greater? You don't know nothing. That's why you joined the company. First place. I think you'll soon be very pleased. The death's call. Won't you listen? I should have started two instead of one. Nope, nope. Resist. Don't look. stop just because there's a disaster. Well, I mean, you're not wrong, my dude. <sighs> I like that. It was trying to make me look. But I was like, nah, -uh, brah. I ain't looking at nothing. vouch for you, I really do, but if you can't, if you don't tell me what's going on, I need to take more AAs. Cool. Alright. Back to typing. Uh, where were we? Hi. The others stood close around me speaking in it. Blah, 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 blah. Amendment. Another system failure. Electrical this time. The other crew members linger outside the base. I think the blame me for what happened. Which they shouldn't. The accident happened. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. It is Christmas Eve and I was supposed to be home by now. Extension ordered at the last minute. Last week I've been in the uh, in these depths for nine months. I haven't seen my wife, my kids, forgetting what I look like. I'm supposed to get holidays off. Oh, big things back. I should be in a warm bed or crash beneath the Christmas tree with Zaina. Uh, organizing the presents so that they don't stick out and make the dog think it'd be a good idea to tear it into them. But instead, I, I, I'm going to die down here. You'll destroy these logs, but before you do, you better read every word. Know that what happened down here, none of this is my fault. It's yours. It's the manufacturer's. Oh, 
Uh, there, why wasn't there a failsafe for the automatic doors? Why is there a manual override? I don't, didn't get, uh, I didn't, did I push the button? Another mechanical failure killed the others, not me. Maybe throwing myself out of the airlock is the, is a good idea after all. Uh, beats waiting around here to die. Rescue isn't coming. I'm getting out of here. The diving suit's damaged, but there's a machine pressure control that should repair it automatically. Oh, no. Oh, no. I speak Jamberald. Not looking. Don't care. Hey, look, it's the axe. Oh, shoot. The elevator wasn't on this floor. It is now. <laughs> Not paying any attention to any of this. Paying any attention to any of this. I don't care what's going on. Okay, the suit's still here. Cool, cool. I'd like to leave the leave with the failsafe part that I stole, but I'm too dang scared. Why did I take it? Why can't I control myself? Why? Why me? And this isn't the worst of it. No, no. There's something more. I need to get out of here while I still have time. I have to go. Hughes! It was you and you blame me? Thoughts. I've got a repair machine up and working as per your insistent request. Sorry if it tore your suit up the first time. Not really sure what happened. Malfunction, I guess. Uh, it would be it would be able to patch up your suit, but you'll take a while. It'll take a while. Kit, you like your personal space, but you're... Just use one of ours, otherwise you won't be diving for it. Thanks for squits. Air process looks like it should take a while. I should write a log. I should write a log. I should write a log. I should hide. I should write a log. How about we hide? I like the hiding part. That sounds cool. I guess we gotta go write a log. All the books have been thrown everywhere. Red. The painting of the tentacle. Okay. December 25th, Merry Christmas. Report author, same as, just gotta hold out to the suit finisher. Same as it's been the last two times. Not like anyone else out there would write anything down. I don't know what. Just happened. My readout says that hours have passed, but I've been sitting here this whole time, but not the whole time. There was not quite a vision of something filling my head, more like an impression, the outline, I can't explain it, the dark something fills the... Crevice half buried in the wall, tendrils reach out through the... Oh boy. What is it now? Electrical. Call darn it. Don't bring Thos with you. It hasn't taken hold as yet, stubborn man. You'll be the first to break. Oh boy. Alright, electrical. Generators are active. That's good at least. Not looking. Oh yeah. Seeing things you never thought you would. You watching the thing? I'm gonna scream in your head. I just saw myself on a dry dock, fishing with my dead brother. 
If I were more on the naive side, maybe it'd be enough for me. Maybe I could ignore the unfortunate truth of what's going on and continue what I've been told. But nobody ever mistook the risk of wits for an opportunist. Don't misunderstand. I'll drag you out of your cozy steel cabin, same as the rest of us. Blah, 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 you were blah, blah, supposed blah, blah. to keep us safe, and you didn't. Death is the Viper's payment. Fair is fair. Blah, blah, but if you cooperate, don't struggle. I'll kill you outright. You're such a crybaby. What I can do is spare you the fate you consigned us to. Shut up. It's almost more than you deserve. Stop whining. But I guess it doesn't matter. Shut up. Anyway, uh, dark, uh, something, <laughs> probing, blindly sensing tremors of life like me, it's a silhouette, it was masked. Uh, dressing, uh, not a form like anything I've ever seen. My first thought was a mass of pustules, but holy and... Christ's sake! Ah, wrong one, sorry, R resume report, my bad. To life support system. I'm here to fix you, baby. I'm not writing my last will. Uh, I can feel it tapping, tapping in the darkness below. There's one concern I've got: those long, slender appendages in the earth. They're all beneath the base, and so long as they could easily wrap around it or wriggle in the open water, so they could easily have found their way into the walls of the base. But why haven't I seen them? Uh, that's the case. Oh. Uh, are they tampering with the electronics, or could it be something or someone else? I don't like this. I have one mother persistent burning thought, but no, it can't be. I won't accept it. I saw you. Uh, there's nothing reading this. But me, all right, I'm ready. I think I can get to that good forsaken bell. With the respiratory tank attached to the suit, I should be able to withstand the pressure long enough to get there, assuming I can get to the bell before the pressure collapses it, assuming the bell is still inside the base and hasn't fallen into the crevasse. Assuming nothing grabs me while I'm out there, this will be my last log. Zaina, ID, I'm coming home one way or another. Boy, oh boy. You've really been having a rough go of it, eh? Well, you could say that. Stuck down here with just the four of us for days upon days. Not a word from the surface. Not a ray of sunshine. Ah, <sighs> who's this? Just the depths and the dark yep. and the dank. So spooky. And if that weren't bad enough, then you go and decide to blow us all out into open water. I the pressure of 200 atmospheres bearing down on us. Man, that sucks. Our deaths were instant, That's but good. you bet your sorry ass they weren't painless. Now I know, and you know, that this isn't new to you. You already knew all this, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Okay. That guilt that you've been pretending like you don't have? Uh-huh. The paralytic, mind-numbing horror of what you've done? All those logs you spent all that time writing? Well, that's all been according to plan. Has it? Our new friend's got all the details it needs on you. Tell me more. Now all you two have to do is meet. I'm Tell sure you'll get along swimmingly. More. Get along swimming you, swimmingly, you say? Ha ha ha, that's funny. Hey look, a laboratory. I'm actually in here looking for pills. I've only got one pill left. That's fine. I'll make it. <sighs> Alright. Hurry up. Hurry up. I gotta get to the bathosphere. Hello, you beautiful suit. Let's get out of here. Boop-a-doop-a-doop. Move. 
I was kind of hoping that it would just instantly... Nope, nope, don't look. Don't look, you idiot. They're dead. Oh, boy. Well... Oops. And there I was, thinking I'd never see my family again. I should have had faith. Ah. It got me. Zaina, Addy, your smiling faces are all I've wanted to see for a long time. We're finally together. Oh. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's pleasant. Oh, I love that. I don't think he made it, Doc. I think he's, uh, I think he's dead. The diving bell. That was interesting. I like that. A little bit of, uh, what was it? Sphere mixed with, uh, Shoot, a lot of, a lot of deep sea stuff. <laughs> Man, I am so happy to see this works. You know, this is actually the first time we've gotten to try this out on a live subject. Oh, yeah? If we'd only gotten the green light sooner, you know how many lives we could have saved? Five. Oh. No point living in the past. Uh, and no, that part wasn't a kick. You're at the point now where the virus should be able to spread to your personal narrative. So best to start rebuilding that before you start questioning your purpose. That only leads to, well, failed relationships and, and bad screenplays. Hey, my screenplays are awesome. But anyway, so we've only got two more left and I'm going to squish, I'm not gonna squish those into one video. So they're gonna be separate. So they'll be a little bit shorter probably if they're not really long games. Arcade Letra and then Squirrel Stapler. But anyway, apart from all that, that's gonna be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of the Dreadx Collection 2. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you are more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. When I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. I tune in next time. As we continue on the stories. And until then, good night. <laughs>